Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, today I will show how to calculate loads coming from slab to beam. In the previous tutorials, I have shown how to derive the equations for calculating load from triangular and trapezoidal area. And for one wire load, it is simple like half of the rectangle for this longer span. In one way slab, load will be distributed to longer span. There will be no load for shorter span from slab. Okay. So now let's start. This S1, S2, S3, S4 and S5. This 5 slab, we will calculate load from these 5 slabs to corresponding beams. This is the Excel. I will share this Excel below the tutorial in the description section. You can get it. Now I will explain the Excel how it is working. For example, this one, this slab area, S1, slab thickness consider 150 millimeter or 0.15 meter concrete unit weight we know that 25 kN per meter cube so self weight of slab is coming this unit weight into slab thickness 3.75 these two cell multiplied then floor finish for considering 2 kN per square meter live load 2 kN per square meter if there is any gravitational load or other dead load or live load if you consider then you can consider it I have considered 1 kN per square meter so total uniformly distributed load on floor area which we can denote by W0 is this is the summation sulfide floor finish live load and any other gravitational load so 8.75 is the floor load now we will check the span this is the long span this is the short 6 meter by 4 meter so we will write here 6 meter and this 4 meter so it is coming span ratio 1.5 that means less than 2 so it is 2 slab here you see I have used the logic if this cell is greater or equal than 2 then it will be 1 way slab otherwise it will be 2 way slab so as it is less than 2 so it is showing 2 way slab for example if it is 1 way slab if we put 8 then 4 it is coming 2 so it is showing 1 way slab so this is the logic so our span is 6 now load from triangular area we have got in the previous tutorial I have shown 1 by 3 W naught LX LX means shorter span so here I have put the logic if this span ratio greater or equal to then it will be shown as 1 y otherwise it will use this formula 1 by 3 that means W naught LX divided by 3 so this is the formula so it is coming 11.67 kN per meter and load from trapezoidal area this is the formula so I have provided this logic if this span ratio is greater than or equal to then it will be one way slab then there will be no value and if it is not one way that means two way slab for two way slab it will solve this equation same this one w naught lx by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 3 beta square this one so it is coming 14.91 kN per meter if it is one way then load on longer span this so as it is 
to a slab so here is it is not showing value if it is one way then here if it is one way then here it will show one the value for example if i put here 8 then see here it is showing the value and it is showing one way so our span is 6 by 4 so this is our value so this value will be on triangular side that means shorter side and this value will be in longer span side so we will put this value 14.91 and 11.67 so here this is the floor plan and here i have made this load distribution figure so i will remove this one i will put the value Fourteen point nine one. Here also the same value this and for triangular side this is coming eleven point six seven. Six seven. Here also it will come eleven point six seven. So this area finished. Now we will go for this area that means slab S two. For example, this slab thickness is sixteen centimeter. For example, and here four by four meter. Here you see this side 4 meter and this side also 4 meter so 4 by 4 in this case the load distribution both triangular all side here there will be no trapezoidal load distribution here you see for in this case load from triangular area it is coming 12 so 12 will be for all side from the for the trapezoidal formula see here it is also giving the same value because both the equation is correct for load distribution so we will put this value 12 this side this side this and this now we will go for slab S3 area here 6 meter by 5 meter if we consider this slab thickness 18 centimeter then we will change after that we will change the this will be black color as it is coming from calculation okay now longer span is 6 meter and shorter is 5 meter okay the load is coming 18.25 and 15.83 18.25 and 15.83 eight three. So in similar way we will calculate calculate this load coming from slab on beams this s4 area here 
after the calculation this is the loads coming from slab on this beams in the area of S4 slab area now we will go for S5 slab area this one we will put the value for example this slab, slab thickness is 14 cm and the span length is 5 meter by 2 meter I'll put the value 5 meter by 2 meter so it is one eye slab now here see it is not showing the value it is showing text and here it is showing the value so this is the formula w0 lx by 2 width of this loaded area half of the area half of this length lx lx by 2 and the area load w0 after the multiplication it is giving the value of load per linear length that means kilo newton per meter so this is the value 8.5 meter we will put this value Eight point five kilonewton per meter. Eight point five. See here, in short span, there is no load coming from slab because of one-way load distribution. Now we will simplify these loads on beam for a single side it is it will be same as it is but the beam having two side it will be added to have the single value for example this one 18.25 18.25 and 14.91 after the summation 13.16 one six we'll let this one so this is the value of load on this beam coming from slab this one will be 23.67 this one will be 24.33 this one will be 15.83 and this one 14.55 so 30.38 here 30 14 and 8 that means 23.05 so we have got our UTL load on beams coming from slab in the next tutorial I'll show the load calculation on beam for its self weight and if there is any wall on the beam then uh, step wise we will go for total load for a column then column to foundation so stay tuned with us to see this calculation manually with the help of excel for better understanding press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update